Hey guys, welcome back. It is cray cray out here today. The wind is so bad. I don't even know why I'm going to attempt this, but I have the cutest idea for a hanging basket and I wanted to share it with you guys. This is exactly where I want it. Can you see the winds? Wow. Well, hopefully we don't get blown away today. So anyways, um, if you have never seen a jellyfish style basket, you're going to fall in love because that's what we're going to make today. So guys, I'm also going to show you what I use for hands-free watering of my containers and pots. And it is the most incredible thing that I discovered a couple of years ago. I use it consistently and especially when we go on vacation, but on a daily use, I do not have to get out here and water my pots. So unless it's something you enjoy doing every single day, you will want to stay tuned. I'm so excited you're here. Thanks for joining me. All right, so I have this spot that I feel like I need some color because this Peggy Martin climbing rose is going to be going out of bloom. My clematis is going to be going out of bloom. So there's just a spare space right here that I feel like a hanging basket would be perfect. Um, another thing I have going on is a drip line that I'm going to be able to tie it in, run up the tree and into the basket so that I don't have to worry about watering it. Hey guys, thank you all so much for joining me. I'm always so excited to do these videos for you. And so I appreciate your enthusiasm and you hanging out and watching and I uh, love all your comments and they just keep me going. The plants we're going to be using, we have a thriller, a spiller, and a filler. So our three plants are the Supertunia limoncello, sweet little yellow flower, a soft pink penta, and the lovely, lovely Dicondra Falls. All right, so I've already got my soil in here, just regular potting soil. This is my long-term fertilizer. It's rose tone, Foma's um, rose tone. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it in, mix it up. Gorgeous, gorgeous, light blue foliage, and it just hangs just like jellyfish tentacles. So get the most bang for the buck. We're gonna divide this guy into I have several, so I think I'll just cut it in half, and that way I'll have four to put around the basket. So we're gonna cut right down the middle. And I'm not worried about these guys, they bounce back almost like a weed. They have no problem, so. All right, and I think we're just gonna position one on either side, just like that. And I'm gonna cut the other one. Do the same thing. I think I'm just going to cut it right down the center. I don't know if you guys can hear the winds or not, but it's a crazy, crazy day. I don't know what's going on, but a little more winds than usual. All I care about is that my rose tree is still standing. So that I am thrilled about. So when you're choosing your plants, you want to make sure you can choose plants that can handle the same type of um, water requirements, the same type of light. Um, my annuals I chose because um, pintas are one of the few flowers that perform super well in our uh, North Texas heat. We get triple digits sometimes for 30, 40 days straight. So. Uh, the pintas, they keep going strong. I love the way they take on just a beautiful mound. It's not necessary to deadhead them, so they're really just not a lot of maintenance. Um, I think what we're going to do is go ahead. I do have three of them, so I think we're going to go ahead and put all three in here. All right, so this is what the three pintas would be here. I think we'll do here, here, and here. And that will leave room for our petunias around the outside edges. So even though I threw in rose tone when I was planting or mixing my soil, I'm still going to throw it in for each individual plant.
and I made one of these last year. I'll try to find a picture and put it on the screen for you so you can see how cute they look as the season goes on. So guys, as I look at this, I realize I think I want to cut my Dechondra Falls even further. So I'm going to cut in half and that way I fill in every single side. Oh well. Gonna cut it again. Yeah, I think that was a good choice. There. Okay, I like that. I'm glad I did that. All right, would y'all agree? It's better than they're everywhere. Okay, so the last thing is going to be the petunias. So these pences will rise up, the petunias will fill out, and hopefully we have room for these guys. So let's see what's going on here. I'm thinking we can put one here. Oh, it's going to be a tight fit, but we're going to make it. <laughs> The thing about annuals is they are robust and their roots will survive. So even if you damage the roots in the process, they're going to pull through. Um, that's another reason I add rose tone directly to the plant. Okay, I think I'm only going to put three super tunias because they're going to fill out so much. Some of this dirt that fell, I'm going to use it to fill it in. And I'm going to sprinkle some more rose tone on top. You can't have enough rose tone or flower tone or whatever it is that you choose to use. Hopefully my microphone is covering up all this anyway. Okay, I think it's looking so cute. Okay, so as far as taking care of it, you will want to trim back your super tunias if they start to look leggy. If they, when we start getting into three digit temperatures, sometimes the super tunias struggle a little bit. Um, if that starts to happen, I'll probably cut them back and maybe put in a few cascading ginkgos um, just to replace them for the summer or I may just cut them back and let the princess be the star of the show So we'll just see when that time comes, but um I'm gonna this is the another bloom booster I've been using so um, I do try to apply this on a weekly basis and you know that is my hopes and dreams is that I can get to it every week uh, but we travel often and so even if I can get to it every couple of weeks then um, it usually does the job, but they do need fertilizer. This is a necessity. All right. This thing is heavy as I'll get out. I am super happy with how it turned out. Look how cute. How oh, just hanging so cute. Can't wait for it to drape. So the last thing I need to do is hook up a drip. I know I have one up in there, so I just need to find it, hook up to it, and then run it up the tree to the basket. Well, that's a bummer. So all I have is tan. This is all I have left of black. So the black's not going to work. Um, I will just tie it up to the back of the tree so that you can't see it, but tan's going to have to work. We use the tan in places where we need it, like on our pool decking, and then I have some tan running through the sidewalk um, under the gravel so that it won't be seen. But I don't typically like to use it in the garden because it's a, it contrasts against the dirt and you can see it a lot easier. So, But here's the tan on the pool deck and you see you can hardly see it as it kind of blends in and feeds up to my patio containers. 
Um, I do have a tan line here that is one of the ones that is running to my pool deck. So I'm going to follow it down because I know the tan goes to my, to my drip. I'm just going to follow it back. And since I'm at it, never ever plant this oxalis, ever. So I'm going to dig it up as I have pulled so many up. They spread by underground corn, so you will regret it. You'll be pulling it the rest of your life. And the thing is, yeah, it is pretty, but it takes over. So it'll take over the plants that you really don't want it to take over. When it started taking over my hosses, then it was definitely a no-go. Oh my goodness, well, I'm so excited. Look what I discovered. It's already hooked up, guys, to a drip. So I just need to test this and see if this is my sprinkler system or my hose. So let's do that. So basically it's just a smart container waterer, kind of like your sprinkler system. And it runs on your Bluetooth. So if you're out of town, it can um, forecast the rain and do a rain delay. Uh, basically, this is what the panel looks like. I will show you the interface on the phone so you can just see how easy it is to use. But the way we have it hooked up here is these are our hoses. We have two since our yard. We have one running in one direction of the yard and one running the other direction of the yard. And you just turn it on by pressing the button. So that's your manual. All right, so it helps like if I'm on the other side of the yard and I wanna turn it off and go out the front gate, I can do that by phone. This is your container section. Now you can get this in two or one. And we have the two because we have a need for two. But if you just have the need for containers, then this you don't need to get the two outlet option. But we basically just hooked up, this is just tubing, drip tubing. We put a connector on the end and we elbowed it down at the bottom. And then unfortunately where they put our hose when they built our house is in such a bad spot. It's in the middle of our porch. So we don't have an option to hide it, but what we did do was just run it along the base here and then it starts hiding once it enters the beds, okay? So it follows the beds all along and then along here and it goes under our sidewalk. There was a lot of digging and work involved in this. But guys, I'm so thankful that we did it. And up here is where it tees. So it tees off to the left, wraps around the left side of the yard, gets all of those containers along my wall and over there then comes around here and tees off this way and wraps around this entire part of the yard, goes to my container garden and then also to the front yard. Here's the user interface. When you turn it on, you'll enable your location so that the weather prediction portion of the app will work. So once that's done, once you open it again after that, you'll see this is we uh, on mine, it's set up where my pots and containers are on the left and my watering hoses are on the right. So I've set up a default, default time for my containers to water for five minutes when I turn it on. And when I turn my hoses on, I have 57 minutes before they turn off. This is your weather data at the top for your area. So this is where you will set up your timed watering schedule. You just go in and select the numbers to set up your time, and then you can just toggle it on and off. But as much as we have loved this, the only con is the outside unit, the battery life. Since it is exposed to the elements, the heat and the cold, the batteries tend to wear out pretty, pretty quickly, especially in the cold weather we have found. Also, if there is any um, water leak at all, like when you're changing the batteries, the water can corrode the batteries. But this is our same one. We've had it for two years now. All right, I just turned it on and I think, I think it's maybe my lucky day. Yep. Wow. So I do think I need to change the head because it's one of the older ones and I need it to spray better than that. So I think I need a 360, this is a 180. So I need to change that out. So I, I want to save this head. This is a good head, but um, I just don't want the 180. This needs to water the entire basket. All right, so it's on pretty tight. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and get some zip ties or some zip Velcro and just Velcro it to the back of the trunk so nobody will see it. And then it will just come, come around and into the basket. And then I'll run this again and make sure that everything in this basket gets watered. Let's go ahead and do that. Do a double check. One thing I'll do is wrap it around the trunk actually because when the wind blows and this wants to spin, I don't want it pulling it out of the basket. So I'll, if I wrap it around one time, it'll secure it in there. All right, so this is what it looks like. Runs down and I'll just hide it under the mulch, stake it, and then let's run this and make sure this is getting the whole basket watered. I expect the pressure to be bad since it's running up the tree, so my fingers are crossed that this is going to be enough. So. Hmm. What do you think? I think it might be okay. See if I open it up a little bit more. All right, well, watering is pretty important. So if I find out this is not going to be enough, I may just put a, a tea splitter on here and put a sprinkler over there and over there. All right, guys, well, I found this twine. So I'm going to use that instead just because it's the color of the bark. And I just don't think it'll stand out as much as the zip ties because unfortunately my zip ties are red and black. All right, so last thing I need to do is obviously just do bury my um, tubing. I don't want it to be seen. The skies is good. So I'll just dig a little trench and cover it up. Right, well, so I figure I also need to add a landscape staple here at the very bottom because it's still trying to pop up. So if I put this in best I can, I'll try a little bit further. All right, well, hopefully that'll keep it in place. Okay, friends, here is our finished product. So cute. The drip line is hidden in disguise. It's tied up behind here. Comes up in, and it is so cute. I will get it from all angles so you can see how cute. I just love it. So obviously I'm hanging it from a tree. This is a holly, so the branches are pretty strong. Um, it does get pretty heavy when it gets wet. So you'll just want to keep that in mind, whatever you use to support it, if you're using just a, um, a stand or a stake or whatever um, works for you. So anyways, it is so cute. And I should mention this area gets morning sun and I uh, this should be pretty good. This The Condra Falls can take um, pretty much any kind of condition, but it does well with some sun to help it grow faster. So pencils like full sun and the... Um, Super is also like a full sun. So they should get enough um, to make this a beautiful, beautiful basket. So guys, I've, this post was in no way sponsored. This is actually just from use of this sprinkler system. And I, it's just a recommendation that has worked for me. And um, I did put the links are all below to help you out if it is something that you're interested in, so. As always, guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I love hanging baskets. They add just so much cuteness to areas that might not otherwise ha have it. Just gets the color off the ground, you know? So if you like the video, press that like button and um, make sure you subscribe, turn on all those notifications so you never miss a video. So um, anyways, I have on another cute gardening shirt today and I'll put the link down below with, um, with a discount code. So um, anyway, you guys have a great day. See you in the next one.